day, dear Dell viewers and subscribers, I am Teresa G. Reyes from Honorato C. Perez Senior Memorial Science High School, your Earth Science teacher presenter for today's episode of Depend Our Teleturoan. Stay with me as we learn through this objective. Describe how rocks behave under different types of stress, such as compression, pulling apart, and shearing. Remember from previous topics about rocks. You have learned how our rocks change in metamorphism and in the physical and chemical environment that minerals attain stability. That is why when heat and pressure change the environment of a rock, the crystals behave by rearranging their structures such as horn falls. Knowing that rocks are continually subjected to forces and tend to bend, twist, or fracture them, how do rocks behave under different types of stress? is a question that will guide us in today's lesson to describe compression, pulling apart, and shearing on rocks. Are you ready? First, we will consider what can happen to rocks when they are exposed to stress. In geology, stress is the force per unit area on a rock. When stress causes a material to change shape, it has undergone deformation or strain. A rock's response to stress depends on the type of rock, the surrounding temperature, and pressure conditions. Rocks have three responses to stress. Elastic deformation, when the rock returns to its original shape when the stress is removed. Plastic deformation, when rock does not return to its original shape when the stress is removed. And fracture, when the rock breaks. Stresses are responsible for triggering earthquakes and contributing to other geological events such as landslides. Stresses sculpt the face of the earth by creating new landforms and restyling the outlines of continents since stresses relate to tectonic plates that lie underneath all of the world's land masses and oceans. The three main types of stresses that affect the Earth and correlate with the three types of tectonic plate boundaries are compressional stress, tensional stress, and shear stress. Compressional stress squeezes rocks together. It happens at convergent plate boundaries in which two tectonic plates are plowing in each other. Powerful earthquakes tend to strike areas where compressional stress is at work, such as in Chile, where the Nazca and South American plates are smashing into each other, or near Japan, where the Eurasian plate and Philippine plates are rubbing against one another. Rocks deforming plastically under compressive stresses crumple into folds and they do not return to its original shape. If the rocks experience more stress, they may undergo more folding or even fracture. There are three major types of rock folding, monoclines, anticlines, and synclines. A monocline is a bend in rock strata that are otherwise uniformly dipping or horizontal. An anticline is formed by the folding of rock strata into an arch-like shape. A synclined is a pole that bends downward, causing the youngest rocks to be at the center and the oldest on the outside. Syncline is a trough of stratified rock in which the beds dip toward each other from neither side. Opposite to compressional is tensional stress or sometimes known as extensional stress. Tensional stress stretches and pulls rocks apart and of course along divergent plate boundaries where two tectonic plates are tearing away from one another. An example is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where the plates carrying North and South America are moving West, while the plates carrying Africa and Eurasia are moving East. Another tensional stress that has been taking place in parts of Eastern Africa is an example of rifting, a process when existing plate begins to split itself into two pieces. Finally, the term shearing describes a distinct motion of two rock surfaces against each other. The third type of stress alters the rocks, causing them to change shape as they slide against each other. 
Shrink causes minerals to split in a formation known as cleavage. Under other circumstances, the rocks develop a pattern of parallel lines called a schist. Apparently, shear stress occurs along the edges of tectonic plates. Although it may occur in other places as well, shear stress is the most common stress at transform plate boundaries. Most often, it takes place between 10 and 20 kilometers beneath the Earth's surface. If the same process occurred at the surface, it would result in fracturing and faulting. Deep within the Earth, the pressure is very great. Near the surface, if the stress continues, the rock will fracture and break. Shear stress happens when the forces slide past each other in opposite directions. Friction between the plates grinding past one another produces the stress. Shear stress is associated with transform faults or also be called strike slip or slip strike faults. A well-known example is the strike slip fault San Andres in California. This fault is also a transform fault because the San Andres is a plate boundary. The land west of the San Andres Fault is moving northeastward while the North American Plate moves southwest. This transform fault separates the Pacific Plate on the west and the North American Plate on the east. To sum up, shear stress or the force of stress pushes some of the crust in different directions. When this happens, a large part of the crust can break off, which makes the plate size smaller. Mountains are a result of high-impact compression stress caused when two plates collided, whereas tension forces caused the rocks to pull apart. Some scientists think tensional stress caused the ancient massive continent Pangaea to break off into seven continents that we have today. There you have it! I hope you have gained the insights to help you describe how rocks behave under different types of stress such as compression, pulling apart, and shearing. Thinking that rocks respond to stresses, the way we respond also to forces in our environment can affect our lives positively or negatively. But if you have a good opportunity, choose an experience that will bring you joy and success in learning. Again, I'm Teresa G. Reyes, your Earth Science teacher here at Devon Our Delitroan. Until next time, good day!